Welcome back to Conqueror's Lucky Corner. It's the boy Surge and the boy Vin. And today we're going to be bringing you the One Piece chapter 906 live reaction. Been waiting for this chapter all week. Where oh. are they going to take it this week with all this, all this going on in marriages? Last week I saw Sabo. I want to see Sabo this week. I want to see Sabo too. But before we go ahead, I want to say, if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. Put the thumbs up and like the video if you like the chapter keep them coming we appreciate all the love i'd just like to give a big 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 shout out to red helm dream lover mimi otaku joe and certainly not the least prd band some great comments some great feedback noticing that there may have been monkey d dragon in the last chapter you got me excited bro you got me excited i wonder if he's gonna pop up this week now you said it i want to see him Anyway, tune in with us. Let's go through this right now. Let's do it. Jokes aside. So, chapter 906, The Holy Land, Mary Joyce. And on the front cover, okay, what's going on here? So, we got Olandus, and it says, Tell the self proclaimed Strawhat Grand Fleet, volume 36, Earl Lombasol, at 10 a.m., on board cleaning check, the, Fosta the Fostodius, Earl Lombus, and Columbus. Columbus. Okay, so he's got a little entrepreneur called Columbus right next to him. They're doing a, Cleaning a dust deck. check. You can see the dust from their fingers. He's carrying um, himself like a captain. Just look at that captain's uh, jacket. If you look a bit closer, one of the underneath is he's underneath his feet. Wow, savage. Wow, savagery. Damn. Got a strong alliance, man. man. So Safe. page one. Near the top of the red line, please watch your steps. The bondola has arrived at the port. All mere folk, please swap out your current bubbles for one of these reinforced ones. Your current bubbles won't work in this airspace. Wow. All passengers must trek to the top of these long broad stairs in order to arrive at the highest and most colossal expanse of land. So big! This is the place where the descendants of this world's creators reside. And there you go, you got Shirahoshi, you got Steli. Look at the detail. Great detail on these panels. Mary Joyce, the grand door of Mary Joyce. This is the place where the most powerful rulers of the One Piece Even world. The entrance had. looks grand. Look at the statues on the side. Thank you for making the long journey. Located in the center of the seas. And the name of this majestic land is Mary Joyce, the, the Holy, Holy land. land. Okay. And just look how great it is. Look at that. the That's detail, the shading in these these chapters is very sharp a lot sharper than usual getting the detail look how rich the land looks rich and fertile oh it's amazing what a gorgeous place oh those green things of forest classic show where she land she wants to see a forest yes but the trees were artificially planted ah. so mary joyce are making themselves look richer than they are yep it's almost as if they're stealing what they need to build perfection Hence why it's artificial. Oh. The connecting king is for you, Lady Shiroshi. Connecting king? Okay, this is interesting. It started moving. Ah, okay. Alright. Alright, this is an earthquake. I'm going to die. Someone protect me. <laughs> this is a travelator. It will move the ground forward. Okay, so she needs that to balance her. You see, she's a big, big girl. Father, shall we take the normal path? Shirahoshi, you wanted to see the forest, didn't you? Fukuboshi. The scenery is amazing, so let's take our time as we head to our destination. Wow, let's do it. Big brother. Hey, father. Of course we can. I, I will also accompany you. Okay. Do they fear modern ma machinery? Classic steady. <laughs> I never liked him. No. Ever since I saw him when he was younger. Those near fish. Racist. And I have to say that I love the way Oda dra dra draws all these nobles and celestial dragon type people. They just all have a son. Ugly to them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah ugly, definitely, definitely. As we say, butters. Jeez. I should get one of these travelators installed in the Gold Kingdom. <laughs> it's so convenient. It's called a travelator. That's what I said. You're trying to be up there with them. I've got a bad feeling about this, okay? Is that hacking? Yeah. Does he sense something? What's going Potentially. on? Potentially. Underground. Ah. Underground. Don't stop, wheeze, wheeze. Be steady and do it slowly. Wow. It needs to be turned at a pleasant pace. Huff, huff. Someone please save me. And if not possible, then kill me instead. Celestial dragons. Slavery is still 
just it, continuing. It's, it, this is this is what they use. They use human beings to move. The travel air. That's not great technology. It's just slavery, man. And nothing's changed since Fisherman's Island brought changed. up Boa Hancock and all the other Nothing. people. It's just a horrible, horrible place, man. Could have died. I mean, look at the agony and grief on his face, man. He looks like he's been there for years. He's filthy. He's he wants got to die. Boogers coming out his nose. He'd rather man, die than be. He'd rather him. die than be there, man. As a resident of a certain celestial dragon, okay, and he's looking for father. father. He's looking for a scope. To a telescope. See yeah, there you go. What's the matter, Charles? <laughs> Charles, you got one back already, come on. Okay, so we got the Celestial Dragon that Luffy famously knocked out at Shaoli, Acapulago. Oh, an extra large one. So it's a mermaid, oh, he spotted, he spotted Shiryoshi. Okay. Mary Joyce, Pangea Castle, main entrance. Open the gates. Cool. Inside the castle, the socializing plaza. All right. So they've come in, Fukuboshi looks uncomfortable. The brothers don't look too comfortable coming in there. They're both just looking. So these are the royal royalty and the escorts from all over the world. Starting tomorrow, even the family members of royalty won't have the time to be bored during the seven-day conference. Okay. There's gourmet food and all weapons have been confiscated. But I mean, just look at the faces of them. They're big noses. They all have a certain kind of evil glint in their eyes. Their women look like men. <laughs> like the one in the middle, look at them. Yeah, like the Wicked Witch from Snow White. Like, oh, they are foul. All of the escorts still look tough without them. Okay, so they've got security with them, folded arms. Father, Udo seems to be doing well with that to relief. Okay. Alright. Well, well, hello there, Princess of the Sea. <laughs> the rumors are true after all. How absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It's funny that they're acknowledging that a mermaid is beautiful. They, they're so racist to mermen and mer true, yeah. mer women. Could that be that they sense that, or is there some kind of intro that they know what she is, that they want that want her? Maybe I'm reaching too soon. I, I, I think it's just more they're trying to create ties with the fishermen and potentially steal their riches as well. Not just that, but Shira Hoshi is fine. There you go. It's, it's there's like there's a balance. My son is still single. How about you get to know each other? Oh, Clyden. Her plan, not bad. Her looks are not bad at all. Hey, you're pretty quick at upselling your son. My son is also Papapi I like. Oh my god, that's my ugly kid, man. Jeez. God damn. No mermaid. No, mermaid princess, please pick my son. Oh, I have three charming sons for you to choose from. <laughs> None of you are my type. Sure, wow. she. Okay, everyone's fearful. Because she's been blunt and rude. Fukuboshi, the, the brothers are just like, just like yeah, scared. Yeah. Eyes popping up. Please forgive her. My sister has her own unique dialect. She meant to say, I'm also not married yet. How dare you humiliate me? Oh, we're pissed. With these kinds of situations, you should say something like, I'm happy to hear you say that. Or would you like to have a meal together sometime? In, in a gentle way, even if you have to lie. I'm no good at lying. She's not, you know. Think of it as evading their questions, not lying. If you hurt their feelings tactless, tactlessly, it will end up causing an international conflict. Oh. Let's go over to that side. So this is the impact of just mugging them off. It's that same thing. You cannot, not only can you not physically harm the celestial dragon. Or royalty. It's a matter of being politically correct. But also, they're above royalty. The celestial dragons no. are above royalty almost. But these individuals are now royalty. They look like they, celestial They're dragons. all kings and queens at the moment from different islands. So. But they're probably queen, they're kings and queens from probably kingdoms where celestial dragons reside. Because it is different. They're still those, those race of people. You see, you've got the regular kings and queens okay. that they were brought on board. That doesn't mean they're respected. Yeah. And then you've got the ones that are celestial dragons. Hey, oh, oh, look at her, man. It's been a long time. Wow. You're so cute. <laughs> you should always... Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Clicked. Clicked up already. That is not a compliment fit for such a warrior as myself, Rezu. I didn't mean to offend you. Sorry. Are you all right, Leo? Then that's fine, Rezu. Leo is just easy to please. Wow, man. you got Vivi and Rebecca, man. Like, you know, two separate arcs coming together. Both rescued by Luffy. We've come from Alabasta to Dressrosa and everyone's there as one. I only came because I heard you say that you, you know Luffy and others. 
We are looking at underlings and pirates so boldly. He's boldly saying it. He knows where he is as well. <laughs> Coming into this robbery, I didn't think I'd meet anybody here who I could talk to Lucy about. That's right. They're adventuring around the world. Mm. And since they don't want to be heroes, they've gone, gone a bad name because of rep the reputation that comes with having a bounty. But I know that they're still the same as they've always been. They're okay, not. Yeah, it's true rights forever. Okay, we've got some Alabaster Kingdoms trivia. Princess Vivi is from the Kingdom of Sand, located on the Grand Line. In the past, she went abroad, aboard the Straw Hat ship and travelled with them as part of their crew. The rebellion that occurred in Vivi's homeland was part of an evil plot that was schemed up by the former Shishibukai crocodile. But Luffy and his crew were able to stop them and save the country. The government reported this as the Marines' achievement. So a bit of flashback for anyone who's been in One Piece late. You can see the history, the rich history of these characters. That you can even see Robin on Crocodile's side. That's, yeah. a, that's an old school Robin. Taking it back, man. Really bad. When I read the news about Dressrosa, so I realise that Luffy and the others wanted to help someone else again. <laughs> the moment of a pause, but then they break out into tears. That's right, Rezu. <laughs> Just now, were you talking about Luffy, Sama? Sama. Another, another, another princess in the mix. Sure, are, she... are you the mermaid princess? They maybe have been talking about him, but it doesn't mean they're his friends. Luffy Kun is a pirate. You can't let people know that you're friends with him. They're in the new world now, so they must have gone through fish and together. She's thinking that. Hey, did you just say Luffy somewhere? Wait, Rebecca, if we missed her then... I did say that. Do you know him? Stop it. Of course they knew they would know his name. I'm indebted to Luffy somewhere. So are we. So everyone's on the same page. I'm just going to throw it out here. Luffy's got three princesses after him. <laughs> Kingdom of three kings? Mm, all the princesses. I, mean, I, I just want to... Like, Look at this bottom panel. <laughs> triple dosage. A triple dosage of that cleavage, older given leverage, man. Jeez. God damn. Thumbs up. Like, I always said Phoebe and Rebecca look relatively similar. Yeah. They almost look like twins there with different hairstyles. But even if you go back, like, just one page, you can see Shiryoshi. She, right there. Yeah, she, she looks similar, similar to them. as well. Yeah. All the princesses look very similar. Mm -hmm. They have a similar style. Vivi Summer is getting along well with the mermaid princess. Rebecca looks happy. My younger sister is not accustomed to socializing yet. You have my thanks. What a fateful coincidence. Hmm. Hey, you over there. You're Rebecca from Dressrosa. Oh, jeez. Half old Navy, the leader of the 13th generation, Sai. Okay. Ah, oh, that guy. My name is Sai. You're Chinjao's grandson, right? Sai. Oh, Leo, my brother, you decided to come here too, eh? We're the secret escort to Resu. Why are you here even though you're a pirate? You're a pirate too. After this mission, I'm going to cut all ties with my country. Jeez. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Princess Vivi. Who's that? Oh, oh, taking us back. Really back. Wapo, what are you doing here? Ma, you hippo. It is strange, isn't it? Cushy, cushy, cushy. I flew quite a distance. Stuart Luffy sent me over the oceans into a faraway land. One man. Ah, so he's also a friend of Luffy Summer. No, he's an enemy, sure, she. Okay, so you've got the Queen of the Evil Black Drum Kingdom, Kinderella, and the King of the Evil Black Drum Kingdom, Wapo. This, you know what, they bounce back quite strongly, you'll give them that. And also, what I find interesting so far, just before we move on, you've got two people that were on the front cover stories very recently yeah. in this chapter, and it's funny how they're coming up at the reverie. Are we going to see Olympus at the reverie? Ooh. It'd be very interesting to see. Yeah. Are we going to see the giant pirates at the reverie? Don't know, let's see, let's just pay attention. I just thought that was cool. He is the former king of the Drum Kingdom and the civilians su suffered under his, his evil rule. This is Wapo's trivia, by the way. He fought against the Straw Hat Pirates and was blasted far away. Mm -hmm. Using the power of the Munch Munch fruit, he accumulated great wealth and founded his own large country. In doing this, he crawled his way back up to royalty. Man, you're giving him his industrious guy. Him credit, man. Man, he's got to a position of influence. He's at the reverie. Is King Cobra the one with a dumb, serious face still healthy? <laughs> Wait, never mind. I actually saw him earlier and I definitely wouldn't call him healthy. Damn, I was just being sarcastic. He's a savage. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Universe. Come on, cushy, cushy, cushy. <laughs> All right. Can really not. Wapo, stop your petty banter. Uh, it banter. looks like yet another unfortunate country was formed. Here we go. We've got the king of the Sakura kingdom, Dalton. And oh my god, Chopper's mama. A doctor from the Sakura Kingdom, Dr. Kareha's yeah. back. Hi, 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 hi. 
It looks like the world government is getting weaker. I can't believe they let this idiot join. Jeez. Dalton, the old head witch, you guys are still alive? Huh? Are you I... asking for the secret to my youth? <laughs> I didn't ask you for that. Wow, okay. It's, it's strange. Dr. Corey, yeah. oh, I think there needs to be a theory done about her. Definitely. How, how is she still in this age and how is she still alive? Dalton's son, Dr. Corey, I'm so happy to see you again. Haha, <laughs> Vivichan, you've become even more gallant. Are you happy? Back then, if I had known that you were a princess, I would have recalculated the price of the medical fees. <laughs> Kinrella's laugh could be a reference to the Cinderella story, Daman of Koshi, which translates as marrying into money, okay? okay. Love nice little girl, take notes. Hey, 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 Dalton, you b. Who? B. How dare a male retainer like you tell me to stop? You and I are equal status now. Dalton just switched on his devil fruit. Quick yeah, time. He did, man. Dalton's son is truly fit to be a king. You flatter me too much. <laughs> Listen up, Dalton, you ally of the justice. The... It's impossible to rule a, country, rule a country in purity. Okay, this is an interesting line. The higher up you go, the more you'll be forced to learn about just how dirty this world is. And then there's something we don't hear him say, which I believe must be on purpose. And Dalton talks over him, did you read Something about it? ultimately my revenge. That's yeah, what it looks yeah, like it yeah, said. It seems that way. And he's just kind of, he's part him off, he's ignored him. Did you read the news about Luffy Kun? Yes, yeah. I was so focused on it that I almost tore a hole in the newspaper. Interesting. Dalton's trivial. Originally a retainer of Wapo. In the now defunct drum kingdom, Dalton worked together with Luffy and his crew to exile Wapo. After listening to the wills of his people, he renamed the country to the Sakura Kingdom and became its king. Dr. Kura is trivial. Currently 141 years old. Wow. See, told you there's something going on here. And known as a witch, she is a doctor from the Sakura Kingdom. Chopper, who saved Nami's life, was raised by her. She is both his parent and his mentor and taught him everything he knows about medicine. And when we were in the Sakura Kingdom, remember, she, she, she's seen everyone in the story. So what she knows, she's been there before the Great Pirate Age. She, she was there before Roger, so she knows, I reckon she knows something about the Void Century. She, I reckon she knows more than she's laying on, but there's only so well, she knows she, of people involved that we haven't brought into the story yeah, yet. very true. She's going to be interesting, and there's a reason why Oda's brought her back into the yeah. mix. Hey, Dalton's son, do you happen to like Lucy? You like Luffy Land, don't you, Resu? I really like him. Kia, this is going to be so fun. Undersea prison in Dan. Level 6. What's up with a solitary confinement? It's so lonesome. Are you perhaps protecting me, Megaland? Four, 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 four. Okay. He's back. He's back. Dolphy. 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 Don Quixote and Doflamingo. And he's smiling. Have they arrived? The assassin from up there. What? Is Magellan protecting him? They're trying to get Dolph Lomingo killed in here. In a prison. Damn. Did they send an assassin here to shut me up in order to prevent me from telling anyone about the secret treasure hidden in Mary Joyce? What? Foo, 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 foo. Isn't it fine to reveal what it is already? Power degrades quickly anyway. It rots away in no time Power at all. Power degrades quickly. And then we go to Mary Joyce. We've got, food, food, food. we've got someone carrying a poster of Luffy and what appears to be another poster behind it. And we've got him walking up some stairs, clack, clack. He's gone into sort of like... He's a, opened a chamber. Yeah. Which is dark, but then it gets light. And now... So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doorways we can see with one light one that he's walking towards. And he, is he what like, kind of figure is he wearing? Is that a crown on his head? Is that a mask crown? What is that? Oh. Describe what you see. I see the straw hat, just a large version. If I'm comparing, depending on how big this character is, and we can tell that he seems normal size because of the size of the posters. Why is this here in the Holy Land? A large secret has been hidden away. A large secret. What does this even mean? But Luffy has the straw hat. Whose straw hat is this then? Is there more than one? And does it have a meaning? Does it have a meaning? It, it, it must have a meaning for them to have locked it up like this. Well, let's run through this page. Okay, they brought Dolphy back. 
to mention a to mention and no to mention uh, to talk of specifically they wanted that because he knows the secret okay yes so he said that now we've got to marriages so this is the secret okay so but he's also said and they were going to bring it back he said it's is it fine to reveal it power degrees anyway yeah so is he is, is this a power and this is that big kingdom it appears like the big arm um, kind of castle with the goros that's it it looks like it can't say it's a bit of a reach right now it's like the chambers it's probably the, it's probably the pinnacle of Mary Driss. but okay first things first there's a poster with new new bounty being yes. carried by this guy yeah and there's a second poster behind it who could that be okay fine yeah he's standing this okay this figure he she I don't know, we don't know at this coming moment, standing in front of this straw hat at a larger size with this and looking at the poster. Okay. Are they are they comparing it? I'm gonna say that the other person by the post there's someone else they see as a big threat. Okay. Someone like a black beard. Someone so, like a black beard. Someone there's this people in the mix at the moment, yeah. Okay, but that's a reach we don't know yet. So clearly whoever it is is Luffy Ooh. and another one. Who else? I'm gonna say yeah, it might be a black beard. I'm gonna go black beard because you have the good, you have the good side and the bad side. Does this have anything to do with D? It must be. It must be. The straw hat came from a D, and we know that Roger wasn't the original. He inherited the will of Joy Boy. Could this be Joy Boy's? Could this be Joy Boy's? But is it, there must be some significance to the straw hat. It's been passed down through generations. There must be a significance of the symbol of a straw hat. If this is the original, well, this whole place is dark. If we look at it, it's a very dark place, if, and the light shines on the straw hat. If this is an, uh, the original straw hat, the significance of a straw hat, such as that monkey D. Luffy wears, is bigger purpose. What's another thing that they're, they're scared of? They're scared of the holy weapons. So, Shirahoshi's Poseidon. Yeah. The plan for Pluton is with Frankie. Yeah. Which leaves Uranus. Could this be Uranus. Uranus? Because look, in a dark place, the light shines on the hat. Could it be like something that... So I think the hat's ability is to connect things. Because everyone that's worn the hat, well, two people that have worn the hat, we can't say about Shaq we don't know, have been able to hear the voice of all things. Now, that hat's clearly bigger. And we know in the D Kingdom, you don't have to be a regular human to be a D. No. Because you had Jaguar D. Soul, yes. who was a giant. So, could it have been a giant that was a D? Maybe that was Joy Boy. Maybe, maybe it was Joy Boy. And wow. it definitely seems like it's not a human sized hat. I mean, the pace of this chapter was very kind of just there. Random information it was just a nice little quick read, nothing too exciting. But this ended bringing Dolphy, talking about secrets, and then now revealing another straw hat that's a big one. What does Hidden mean? away, in my words. Hidden. Hidden away like a treasure, like something they don't want the world to see. Or to get their hands on. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Comment down below. Comment, 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 comment. What do you think? Because this has got this is this is discussion this is time. I said at the beginning I wanted to see Sabo. I wanted to see Dragon. I've just seen something that's blown up. Ooh. And and Dolphy. You gotta give Dolphy. Come on. Alright. If you like this chapter, big thumbs up. Make sure you spank that subscribe button as well. Smash it right now. Once again. Big shout out to everyone who shows love. Thank you for watching the video. Appreciate it. We'll be back very, 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 very soon. But until then, it's that time again. Peace out.